y'all, the women are going broke and they're struggling with the degrees. You know, for a very long time now, we've been hearing from a lot of these women about how their boss chicks, they're strong and independent. They don't need a man. They are their own bosses. They are highly educated. They have a bunch of these degrees, right? All for them now to be out here crying in their cars about how the degrees are worthless. Yes. When all of these men were trying to warn these women and tell them, hey, the degrees won't really save you like that. You're out here trying to emasculate me discard of me, treat me like I'm worthless, all because you feel like you have this piece of paper that somehow validates you and makes you this rich chick, you might want to simmer down, okay? And see, I have to say this, and y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Y'all, when I show you all these clips that I put together for myself, <laughs> Y'all are going to be just as blown away as I was. But I have to say this, y'all. For a long time, it was the men looking out for us, trying to build with us, work with us, provide for us, lead us, teach us. They understood that coming together as a unit would be beneficial not only for them, but especially the woman. You know why? Because women, we're not designed to be out here working hard, working long, tying ourselves out, breaking nails. I mean, no, <laughs> okay? But the men understood their assignments and their assignment was to provide for you, to protect you, to lead you, to teach you, to love you, to save you from yourself. Okay. All you had to do was be a help meet. Mm -hmm. You help me meet these goals and I'll take care of everything. Okay, all I need you is to assist me in the process, and I got you covered. All right, the men were trying to do that, but what did we do? We threw it in their faces how much, again, we did not need them, how educated we are, how strong we were, how independent we were, you know, how much money we could make on our own, right? all for it to backfire and blow up in our faces today. And you know what, y'all? The men were actually offering us a pretty damn good deal. Oh, yes. You mean to tell me all I have to do is be a support to you, speak life into you, maybe cook clean, give you respect, appreciate, and you're going to do all the hard work for me? You're going to take care of me? You're going to make sure that I don't have to stress too much? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sign me up. But we blew it. Yep. Once again, we blew it. We didn't realize how good we really had it. Now we're crying. Talking about how jobs are not hiring us. Jobs don't want us. They don't want to pay us what we're worth with all of our degrees. And all the men can say is, I told you so. You should have took the good deal and the offer when I handed it to you. Because now, ladies, I don't know if y'all got the memo, but 
the offer is off the table. The men are no longer trying to come through and save you. Mm -mm. The men are no longer trying to work with you, build with you, be with you, marry you. Yeah. And so since a lot of y'all chose y'all's degrees over the men, it kind of stuck. But nonetheless, we told you so. And let me say this before I play the video. Ladies, it's nothing wrong with you trying to improve yourself, develop yourself. You know what I mean? Um, do what you feel is necessary to evolve, elevate. However, in the process of you evolving and elevating, getting your degrees and all of that, make sure you're being grateful and ever so humble with that approach with that pursuit because now i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are eating your words placing so much heavy stock in being strong and independent and having your own like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let's get into this, y'all. Check these women out crying now that they have chosen to have degrees over getting with good quality men and building with them. And here's the huge catch. Ladies, you could have had your degrees and a good man. But hey, this is what y'all do. Let's check it out. All that work and what did it get me? It says, got a bachelor's and master's degree in accounting and I'm still unemployed. Y'all know how I told y'all I have a four-year degree, right? A bachelor's degree. And I went to college for four years. I'm just trying to see what actually that did for me because um, I just had a job offer that offered me <laughs> 25000 a year. <laughs> yeah. Which is what? $12.65? Or is that 24000 Either way it goes, it's 12 to 13 no need to add the math because it's literally zero dollars <laughs> and i'm literally laughing right now to keep from crying at the age of 25 i would have never thought that it would be this hard to find a decent job <sighs> oh now again she says that she's laughing to keep from crying but let's get into it because this is really not a funny matter at all so many of us women, young women especially, were taught growing up that you should never prioritize, you know, a man or a relationship over your education. Make sure that you have your own, your home, your own everything when it comes to your own home, your own money, your education, your degrees. You need to set yourself up so where you do not need a man, you do not depend on a man, you do not rely on a man whatsoever. And with us being indoctrinated in that way, it really set us all up for failure. Because a lot of us, like I said earlier, place way too much stock into, you know, our education and our degrees. So where we really got full of ourselves, we got really big headed, we got really uh selfish self-centered to where we felt like everything would revolve around us once we placed ourselves in this strong independent boss chick type of mode right so a lot of our lifestyles are deriving around um doing it all by ourselves not counting on anybody not needing anybody and a lot of us have egg on our faces because we're starting to realize we were set up we were scammed all right we definitely should have been prioritizing family units with men that way we could have a strong support system let's be clear you all as women we're not designed to do it all on our own we're just not it's not set up in our nature like it's all by design this way okay take it up with 
nature, the divine, God, the universe, or whatever you believe in. But nonetheless, you are who you are. And who we are, ladies, are help me. Who we are, ladies, are creatures, right, that are designed to have to rely on the opposite sex to help us out. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. When men and women come together and we collaborate effectively as a unit and as a team, those are the most flourishing, prosperous unions, you know, but again, so many of us wanted to X out the men, but that's what we were taught. And so now we're having to go through this life, unlearning and relearning while struggling and suffering in the process. And it's nobody to blame but ourselves and each other. But let's continue because this is very, very sad. And y'all get the likes up. It says she's unemployed with a bachelor's degree. She says she recently received a job offer in her field for only $25,000 a year. Y'all. I made that working at, I don't know, fast food. The department stores, that's nothing for somebody to go to school for four years and they're making the same wage as somebody working at Starbucks. It's wild, you know, and the huge kicker to it all is we could have been bringing our resources together, like I said, with a man and building as a team. OK, you 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 can't survive off of twenty five thousand dollars a year. You just can't. You know, it, it's impossible. You're going to have to work at least two to three jobs to make up for that salary. But a lot of y'all swore up and down. Oh, you don't need nobody. I got my degree. I'm bossed up. I'm educated. And, and look at you now. A lot of the men that y'all swore up and down that you were too good for is making double your salary off of a trade yeah he's a plumber he's making way more triple your salary but again ladies we oftentimes think we know best and then we end up looking silly in the end so be careful of what information y'all are taking in and what advice you are taking from what woman because like i said a lot of you a lot of them are not being honest with you all they're not and I know y'all hate women like myself because I'm going to be brutally honest with you, but it's all to help you in the end. Okay. I know as women, we need men and I know as women, we fare a lot better when we are under the leadership of a man. Okay. Men are designed in their nature to take care of us, to carry heavy loads, to do the dirty work. All right. To provide. Us, on the other hand, we keep going against our nature, which is, again, to be taken care of and to be a help meet. Emphasis on help meet, okay, ladies? Because just because men are designed to take care of us does not grant you the right to be lazy. Y'all sleep on that. But nonetheless, it's very teachable with what we're seeing right now. Let's continue. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. ASAP because I've had it up to here okay with the job industry trying to low ball because I ain't gonna say what I want to say but trying to low ball the, uh. well what she's trying to say is they're low balling the black women okay and that's very ironic because we are the main ones talking about how strong and independent and highly educated we are, how much money we're going to make by ourselves. We're not going to deal with any men and things of that sort. And look at what y'all are facing. Just saying, let's continue. In America, I'm sick of it. Then I was told, oh, I forgot you have experience. So you have experience. So we can give you what? one percent <laughs> one percent more instead of five percent or ten percent more did i not 
bust my tail for those four years for nothing? You mean to tell me all I get is twelve dollars and sixty-five cents, up to what fourteen and fifteen dollars at the most? It's tragic, y'all. This is fresh out of high school money. Seriously. That is chump change. But we put so much stock on education, on degrees, and, and trying to live off this illusion and facade of being a strong, independent boss chick. And a lot of y'all are broke. And let's not get into the amount of debt you have to pay back. The amount of money that y'all have to pay back after spending all this time and money on school for you only to make what people are making fresh out of high school is bonkers. Ladies, we got to do better. We have to. Y'all like the video. I told y'all so. I told y'all so. But again, y'all said women like me, we're setting women up for failure. We're setting women back. And what did y'all do to yourselves? By trying to be so bossed up, what did you do to yourself? You set yourself up and you set yourself back. You could have got with a man and built with a man. But again, that struggle love. Well, what do you call this? <laughs> Let's continue, y'all. And again, get the likes up, share the video, and subscribe. More women need to see this video right here. While they are placing so much heavy stock in getting degrees. They mean nothing, ladies. And it is women on here letting you know. So you can't even say that I'm hating and I'm just pandering to men and all of this. No, this is coming from the horse's mouth. They messed up. They're highly regretful, highly remorseful. And I would bet my bottom dollar. That a lot of these women wish, hear me out, I would bet my last dollar that a lot of these women on here that have all these degrees, that swore up and down, they can be strong and independent boss chicks, I bet they wished that they would have invested a lot of their time, a lot of their energy, a lot of their focus into building with good quality men. Combining their resources. There's nothing wrong with that, y'all. And I really hate that we live in this world to where they condemn women for wanting to collaborate with a man and build together as a team, as a unit. That's what a relationship is all about. That's what life is all about. Coming together as men and women and building together. Not building the man up to be a man. No, he's already a man. But building with him, combining resources, pouring into one another, that's what makes this life work. That's what keeps the, the world growing and flowing. But y'all have messed up so bad that now the men are completely even turned off by the idea of getting with any woman. Because so many of y'all wanted to be strong and independent while emasculating and disrespecting the men in the process. And now look at you struggling and crying in your car about how, you know, you're not able to pay your bills and make a decent living or a decent wage off of your four year degree. I bet they wish they had a man. A lot of y'all, I bet y'all wish y'all could even go 50-50 with a man after spending all this time and money on these pointless, worthless degrees. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Another episode of Living Life Unemployed. Uh... Sad. Wow. It says you recently graduated and no one wants to hire you and your tech degree. Now you have to pack up your big girl apartment and go back home. 
So a lot of these women that are getting their degrees and everything of that sort, even in what's supposed to be good fields, like last time I checked, the, the tech field was a good field to enter into. But even those women are finding it difficult to land jobs in those career fields. And so they're having to pack up all of their things and go back home to live with their parents. That's nasty work. Really nasty work. <laughs> I'm literally having like a midlife crisis. Like all these jobs I hear are paying 23, 24, $25 an hour. And I'm not trying to sound ungrateful, but like that's just not enough money. So she's in her car crying because she apparently has a bachelor's degree um and she's not able to find any decent paying work okay let's take it back i'm literally having like a midlife crisis like all these jobs i hear are paying 23 24 25 dollars an hour and i'm not trying to sound ungrateful but like that's just not enough money like i cannot survive i, I cannot live i have kids like i cannot i cannot use 23 24 25 dollars an hour and make a living okay like it's not enough money. It's it's simply not enough money. It's just not. And it's like, did I go back to school and get a bachelor's degree for what? What did I get a bachelor's degree for? To make $23, $24, $25 an hour? For what? And you know what? That's something I didn't entirely think about. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I did not entirely think about the fact that there are a lot of women out here who have children to take care of, you know? Um, and so maybe for them, making $24, $23, $25 an hour is not enough when you have multiple mouths to feed, including your own. You know what I'm saying? So I just really feel bad for these women for not prioritizing better and putting the, the right things uh, at the forefront of their lives, okay? Because not only are these women oftentimes struggling, but their children are having to suffer and struggle right along with them, you know? Which is why it is, in, it is imperative, ladies, for us to choose quality men to not only build with them, be with, but to procreate with as well, okay? Because this is just tragic. It's already bad enough that we're in a, an economy to where, you know, the money is not moneying, uh, the jobs are not hiring. And so we just have to think these things logically and clearly through when we are deciding to lay down with certain people that are not ideal. But let's continue. From somebody that has five degrees and has been searching for almost a year and still hasn't gotten a job. Take this advice. Stop getting the degrees they don't mean crap so she said that she has gotten a degree and everything of that sort and it's been a whole year and she has not even landed a job ladies y'all should be just sick for prioritizing wrong but again, we told y'all so, but y'all know best, right? You're the most educated. You don't need no, no help. You don't need nobody. You strong. Okay. And look at you now. You're strong and struggling. Let's continue. You know, we don't we don't see it says, so you're telling me I went to college and got a bachelor's degree just to be unemployed and not be able to find a job. It's the same pattern. It's the same pattern. Y'all spend all this time, all this money just to be stuck. You could have had a man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe I'm old school in that way, but I do believe that women should prioritize, you know, family versus getting degrees. All they do is set y'all up for failure to be alone, struggling single, because what man is going to want to take you on with all this damn debt? But hey, let's continue. <laughs> All that work and what did it get me? Another one. She says, I went to university and majored in a STEM degree just to be unemployed still one year post-grad. Again, y'all, it's the same themes. It's the same themes, y'all. 
And again, I thought that the STEM field was good. Is it not? Like, ladies, are y'all not getting hired in these certain career fields because a lot of women are just maybe lazy? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to go that far. But, um, yeah, what is it about these jobs not hiring women in these very lucrative, you know, fields? What's to that? Y'all let me know. Put it in the comments what y'all think it is as far as why these jobs are not hiring these women. Now, I know it's a universal thing you know for men as well it's hard out here as far as the job market but in particular y'all i gotta be honest i'm starting to see way more women struggle as far as finding jobs and and um getting hired than men and i need to know what y'all think that's about but let's continue anyone explain to me how i have two degrees i have two degrees oh and a certificate a little extra, right? I have a certificate. May not may not be a master's, but it's something extra along with the two degrees, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to apply for jobs right now. And um, the thing is, is that the only person I have responding to me is a man from a tech um, from a tech company saying, Hey, you want to answer some customer service problems? You want to answer some customer service calls? No, Bart, I don't want to answer your calls. No, so, no offense, but I'm a little more qualified than to just to be sitting around answering your customer service calls, Bart. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's the, but Bart is the only one who's responding to me. So what am I supposed to do? And you know, I'm looking down at these, and I'm looking at them, and I'm I'm kind of wondering. I'm like, hmm, what was this for again? Oh, I don't know. Beats me. Long story short, y'all, these women are really struggling. Degrees and all. Like, we were absolutely taught wrong, ladies. Oh, prioritize your education. Not no man, not no relationship, not no family. Be strong, be independent. They told us all of the wrong advice. And now look at y'all, looking at these pieces of paper like, what in the hell did I do? What was it all for? She has two degrees and a certificate, right? And all she can land is a customer service job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two degrees and a certification, and Bart just wants her to answer phones. And I'm pretty sure Bart is not going to pay more than $13 an hour. It's really sad. But hey, we tried to warn y'all. This is what y'all chose. Share this video and subscribe to the channel so that we can warn other women out there not to go the strong, independent, boss chick route. It leads to nowhere but apparently customer service jobs. I don't know. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts, opinions, and feedback down below. Why do y'all think a lot of women in particular are finding it very difficult to find quality work. You know, why aren't they hiring the women? Let me know. But I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.